welcome to a new vlog. It is Saturday the 4th of July today, which is the day that good old Boris has said that certain establishments are now allowed to open, including pubs and restaurants and hairdressers. Um, as you will have just seen, Charlie and I went out for a lovely walk this morning and we walked to our local, um, it's kind of a golf club but it's also a little hotel they have 25 boutique rooms they look really beautiful actually and we actually went there by car the day that we had our first ever viewing of this house and we went there after the viewing um to kind of what's the word debrief that's the word debrief um our thoughts and i remember when we were sat at the table i was just so overwhelmed after the first time we'd seen this house i, I didn't really have much to say i was just totally overwhelmed um but we went there on a walk a couple of weeks ago and obviously it was all closed although the golf course was actually open um so we went back today it was about 15 20 minutes actually no more like a half an hour walk through the fields so we had a cup of coffee while we waited for the kitchen to open and then we enjoyed our first non-home cooked meal in three or four months, which was really lovely. They had some really good systems set up. They had a little one-way system. They were seating everyone really far apart. All the staff were in masks. Apparently we as customers didn't have to wear masks. Um, well, I guess it'd be quite tricky to eat with a mask on. But they were doing a really good job. Um, Charlie actually did some Instagram stories about how you can help support your local businesses and be a little bit more uh, tolerant, 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 yeah, tolerant of slow service or um, maybe not as good service because a lot of these staff are new. They've obviously not been doing this kind of work for the last three or four months. But it was yeah really nice to get out and do something a little bit different a nice long walk for the dogs as well so now we're back home it's just started to rain we're going to do a few odd jobs around the house today so that's our saturday plan we had some lovely deliveries while we were out on our walk most spectacular of which is this gorgeous bunch of flowers and it looks like a real english countryside bunch of flowers this almost looks like a um a black currant leaf i'm sure it's not <laughs> we've got some little, little daisies some peonies there's a beautiful peony up at the so. top here that is so gorgeous oh. yes please darling um i think they need a little bit of water they've probably come from <laughs> quite far away they were very kindly sent from needle and thread and they also oh. sent a couple of face masks which is absolutely gorgeous there's this black one um they are this design and this beautiful floral one that is so lovely um oh yeah fabulous thanks darling so that is just very very handy exactly what we all need right now um also had a delivery from living proof whose hair mask i have been swearing by lately they've launched a new dry shampoo which apparently actually cleans hair eliminates oil sweat and odor that's brilliant because i'm very lazy when it comes to washing my hair at the moment um some fabric samples have arrived i like this one i think that could make for really really nice cushions again with the gold trim around the edges it's just quite a nice like velvety texture quite thick and we have some more floor samples these are from amtico flooring i quite like the dark wood amtico or amtico um, um i guess amtico well, I amtico makes more sense doesn't it we've been calling it amtico well amtico sounds like antique doesn't it I prefer Antico. Antico. But um, yeah, they have some really beautiful wooden floor samples. Various kind of shades of oak, some slightly more ashy tones, some warmer tones, and that's like a traditional... That actually looks like our, our oak flooring. Very good. These are for the coach house. And then I had a Charlotte Tilbury delivery, but this was actually from ASOS. So ASOS Beauty are now stocking Charlotte Tilbury. So let's have a little look and see what delights lie inside. Oh my goodness. Hello darling, Charlotte Tilbury, makeup artist to the stars here. My gorgeous, talented makeup artist niece, Sophia Tilbury and I have selected some of my award-winning best-selling beauty secrets, especially for ASOS, in celebration of our three-month Charlotte Tilbury ASOS summer pop-up. Gorgeous. 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 Oh my goodness, there's some things in here that I've not even tried before. 
goddess cleansing ritual <gasps> pillow talk eye palette i had wanted this for so long oh my goodness sponsored by zayn malik pillow talk oh yeah um charlotte tilbury's magic cream i always forget that this is spf but it's spf 15 that is brilliant flawless finish complexion powder i don't think i knew that she did this that looks absolutely gorgeous. I do usually use a loose powder, but I think a pressed powder is much better for on the go and it can be a little bit um, quicker and easier to use. So that's absolutely gorgeous. What else have we got? Um, ooh, easy highlight. I think that's one that Freddie is always telling me that I need to try. Um, mm -mm -mm. Oh my goodness, what's this? Pillow Talk Lip Cheat. Ooh, we've got a couple of different lip liners. Feline Flick Eyeliner, oh my gosh. What's this? Magic Night Cream. See, this is actually one product from Charlotte Tilbury that I have tried before that I have to say I really don't like. It leaves my skin feeling just quite tacky and oily. Um, so I think I will do a little... What was that? Oh, God, I'm outside my arm. Um, so I think I will do a little giveaway for this. I'm not allowed to run giveaways on YouTube, so I will um, pop a giveaway for this over on my Instagram stories. Full Fat Lashes, Mascara, um, Liquid Concealer. Ooh, the Airbrush Foundation. <gasps> oh, I hope that's a good colour for me. Maybe a little bit light. Let's have a look. Oh, actually, that probably is quite a good colour for my face. Oh my gosh, you only need one pump. A little goes a very long way. Oh my goodness me. I've just opened up the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk palette and wait for this. Oh my goodness, literally all of my dream shades, including loads of really wearable, more matte colours, because I basically only wear like these kind of shades on a daily basis. And then I do like to make a slightly more pinky eye, so there's some gorgeous more pinky tones. It's got day, dusk, date and dream. I love that. That is my perfect eyeshadow palette. And you've got the big mirror in the lid and the most Gorgeous packaging, really slim and sleek. That is absolutely stunning. Oh my goodness, I'm having such a nice time unboxing all of this. So, so generous. Thank you to the girls at ASOS. I've also just applied some of the Magic Away Liquid Concealer under my eyes, and that is so lovely. I realized there were also some products which I opened during the week, which I didn't show you yet. There is a new range from Kate Somerville. This is the Deli Kate Delicate range. And in the press release, it was saying that this is the range that you can use if your skin's a little bit agitated. So for example, um, it said that this range was developed for post facials. So if you have a facial treatment and your skin is a little bit delicate, maybe even if you've had something like Botox or you know something a little bit more um, invasive, then this is an amazing, recovery soothing collection so this is the recovery cream for stressed skin to condition and soothe revitalize and appease skin we've got the recovery serum super duper hydrating let's have a look what the actual products look like Ooh, beautiful again this is called a stressed skin savior so lovely this is such a gorgeous brand and then we've got the soothing cleanser to cleanse and soothe the skin again a stressed skin savior Ah uh, yeah, of course, when you've had a peel, um, it will help calm irritation while cleansing the skin. So that's a really gorgeous range. And then another brand that I absolutely love, Sarah Chapman. I love using the Skin Insurance um, face moisturizer, but they've just, they've just launched the eye insurance. This is a protecting eye tint SPF 30. That sounds fantastic. So I guess this is going to have a little tint to it as well as having all the benefits of a good eye cream. So a really, really good launch from Sarah Chapman. I feel like my skincare routine is just sorted. Again, feeling super duper spoiled thank you very much we have a new facial moisturizer from CeraVe this is a lovely very um I wouldn't say it's underrated anymore actually I think people are really cottoning on to how good this brand's products are this has got SPF 25 moisturizing through the, throughout the day restore the protective skin barrier with essential ceramides and hyaluronic acid but SPF 25 so that makes it a really good everyday moisturizer and then I had a really lovely delivery from a company called Nubian hope that's pronounced correctly mindful beauty they have popped in a lip plumping elixir oh my goodness wow that looks really cool 
Powerful Adaptogen Lip Plumping Elixir. I'll give that a go. Oh my gosh, so we have what they have called a lip augmentation gloss. I guess this is going to give me a major pout. I've just popped the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk um, lip liner and lipstick on, so I'll pop some of that on the top. We'll see how that looks. And they also have fitness clothes. This is a really cool looking yoga top. It's got really intricate strap detail. That looks really lovely in this kind of pink sky tie-dye print. Really nice design, nice and high-waisted too. So I'll try that out for my morning Pilates. What a gorgeous selection of deliveries. Thank you very much to all of these very generous brands. just popped that lip gloss on and it is tingly it's definitely one of those like plumping um almost as though you've had a lip injection lip glosses charlotte tilbury highlighter looking lovely although it looks a bit strange on makeup that's half a day old that i've been for a, a dog walk in um but yeah it looks really nice i've just undone the flowers as well they look spec I haven't taken the string off because I want the bouquet to hold its shape for um, a photo tomorrow when the weather's a little bit nicer so that's why they're still in situ with the string and the flowers we've brought in from the garden I've just distributed into a couple of little vases it's always really useful to, to look out for vases that are this small because if you do um, manage to pick some flowers from your garden or you just have a couple of flowers left from a bouquet it's really nice to just pop them in some water like so Hello again darlings, I am now up in the dressing room or the top, top room. I feel like I can't really call it a dressing room until we've got the wardrobes and stuff put in, but you know that this is the room that is soon-ish, sorry if that made you dizzy, soon gonna be made into my epic dressing room. Uh, I actually had the schedule of works come through a couple of days ago and they are starting first week of August and it's pretty much gonna take a full month because they have to kind of build it within this room because it's such a big room it requires well there's obviously a lot of um beams and things so it's not like they can make it off site and then just plonk it in here it really has to be made here so that's exciting it's going to be yeah pretty much the whole of august so my autumn fashion content will be shot in here but it's all going to be a little bit higgledy pickledy until then um you may have been expecting a fashion video today because i did say that earlier in the week but I still feel like I'm just not, um, I'm not in the right headspace to film a fashion video. My whole world right now is just the house and where we're not going out. I feel like the only thing I'm thinking about is what I'm wearing on a daily basis in the house. Um, and I just think it'd be a little bit forced of me to do a fashion video where it's not relevant, if that makes sense. So I hope you don't mind. Um, but this is gonna be a little bit of a fashion video because I'm gonna do a bit of a clear out. Before we moved house, I did like a three layered clear out. Um, I did one clear out, then I did a more thorough clear out. And then as I was packing stuff away, I had another clear out. But now that we have lived here for nearly three months, in fact, what's the date today? So we moved on April the 17th, May, June, coming up three months. I feel like I know a little bit more now what kind of clothes my new lifestyle is going to, um, what kind of clothes are going to be more appropriate for that. So every now and then I'm looking through my clothes and I see something and I'm like, I'm never going to wear that again. That's just not appropriate because, so <sighs> I need to rest my arms. Before, obviously living in London, um, I think it's fair to say that you could get a little bit more dressed up on an everyday basis whereas as much as I still love to get dressed up um, when things start to open up again I will wear my lovely dresses and I'm still going to have lots of meetings and events in London so I'm not going to completely get rid of my dressy wardrobe but it is a huge lifestyle change so my wardrobe needs to reflect that and I'm not going to do anything too brutal when it comes to wardrobe adjustments until life goes back to normal a little bit because for all I know I could end up still spending two or three days a week in London when work resumes into a kind of normal routine so I don't want to be left with nothing to wear not that that could 
ever happen, uh, let's be real. But I think there are a few tweaks that I could make. So I am going to just go through my wardrobe, um, aim to get rid of, well, I don't know. Let's, let's just see, let's play it by ear. Let's see what things I don't think are gonna work anymore. And um, not sure what I'll do if I'll put them on Depop or not because I didn't have much luck with Depop before. My PayPal didn't work, so sorry, you've had a black bar. Anyhow, my PayPal didn't work, so it was all a little bit glitchy. Um, but what I might do is the same as I did last time, where I created a Google Drive folder and I uploaded photos of everything into the Google Drive folder, and then you guys emailed me. Um, I'll leave my email address address in the description box, and you guys just emailed me if you wanted something from the Google Drive folder. You email me if you want access to the Google Drive folder to begin with. And then I send you a price and if you want it, I will post it to you and you can pay via PayPal. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll do that again because there's not going to be a mad amount of stuff. But yeah, we shall see. Let's, um, let's just start clearing out and see how far we get. I know it's very unceremonious having these clothes on the floor, but I did actually use one of those little um, wooden floor mops the other day, so the floor, I can assure you, is very clean. And to be honest, I just didn't have a rail <laughs> to pop all these bits on. But this is the epic pile of things which I've decided I am going to part ways with. I'm just gonna hang them up on this door and um, photograph them, ready to go in the Google Drive. I've separated this jumper out, because it's actually a really old one from French Connection, but it's got this lovely floral detail on the sleeves. It reminds me of one of my romantic lookbooks that I shot a long time ago um, and I wanted to wear it so I've just got it out to remind myself to actually wear it a little bit more. That's the thing when you're actually tidying out your wardrobe you realise how many gorgeous things you do have and get more wear out of the pieces that you love. So actually by getting rid I often find you get more out of your wardrobe. So I'm going to leave my camera on another hyperlapse while I take photos of these things. So keep your eyes peeled. Um, these things are all in good condition. Some of them are actually brand new, which is heartbreaking. Uh, yeah, some of them have got tags on them, which you'll be able to see in the pictures on the Google Drive. Um, and I'm going to try to do a little bit more of a description because before I just whacked everything in as just a photo. But tonight I will um, sit down and actually put like a price on. I'm going to do flat postage, £3.50 in the UK, and then I will calculate it for other places in the world. The only place that I can't send to is PO boxes. So as long as you've got a normal address, I will ship these anywhere. Um, and I'm going to probably say a minimum order value um, abroad of £50 worth of clothing, just so that it's worth um, the hassle of actually shipping them abroad because you have to fill in so many forms, but in the UK, I'm not gonna have a minimum. Uh, so yeah, keep a look out. And if you see anything that you like the look of. Oh, and by the way, I do have, I do also have some shoes, which, um, I might list as well. So if you're a UK size three, which is a Euro 36, then have a look as well because I will have um, shoes on the Google Drive as well. Okay, I've just come downstairs because it is five o'clock. So I've just uploaded yesterday's video. So you'll be watching um, the Cult Beauty 
unboxing and um, photo shoot in a wheat field, cozy evening vibes. So, I was reading the comments of the video the day before. Um, I usually spend the first hour after a video goes live reading the majority of the comments, replying, getting back to people. Um, because it's really good to see your initial feedback and then to be honest I will probably then um, just check comments every now and then and then sometimes if I'm like waiting for the clock to tick over to upload a 5pm video then I'll go back to the day before and read those comments so first of all I had a few comments of people um, really saying that they were missing fashion content so what I would like to know is what you would like to see um, so any video requests that you've got what would you like to see obviously I used to do a few more hauls um, don't know how the general feeling is towards hauls anymore I know that I've not been tempted to actually haul from any particular retailer lately so not so sure um, but yeah please let me know your fashion video requests and then another comment, um, well, I've seen a few comments like this lately, and it was saying, Josie, there are so many adverts in your video. And I've always replied the same thing, that I'm so sorry, it's not um, my choice, it's YouTube's choice where they place the ads. But this time, in the last video, so many people replied underneath being like, Josie, you're a liar, you can control the ads. And some people were getting very aggressive about it. Um, firstly, if you feel that way, walk away from your computer, take a deep breath. You shouldn't be getting that angry <laughs> about adverts in a YouTube video to call someone that you've never met a liar. It's a bit OTT, so just take a deep breath and walk away. Click the little X up on the screen if my videos make you feel very angry. Um, so I was like, hmm, is there a way of controlling the ads? So I've just gone into my video monetization settings and you'll be pleased to know that I have found a way of reducing <laughs> the number of ads within a video. So I can put them at the beginning, in the middle or in the end. So actually, um, I was wrong. You can control the number of ads in a video, but my point here is instead of getting your pitchforks out and accusing someone of being a liar, and if you're lying about this, what else might you be lying about? I mean, chill out. <laughs> um, maybe just put it more politely. Actually, Josie, um, I've just had a quick Google and this is how you can do it. There are much nicer ways of going about things and I know everybody's stressed because of lockdown, but just be a bit more polite is all I am asking and I know that's literally like three people out of the 50 or 60,000 that watch this video so um, thank you to the 59,997 of you who are lovely <laughs> but to the three or four people that just decide to be aggressive in the comments go and watch someone else's videos please because this channel is a nice and positive place Don't you agree Dicky? Yes there's just no place for aggressive and nasty people here. You're just not welcome. Hello again, it is now Sunday, it's the next day, and I just sat down to edit the video and I realized I didn't actually <laughs> finish filming. That's all I filmed yesterday. But you didn't miss anything last night. Charlie and I had pizzas. We watched, um, well, we started watching the Eurovision film with Will Ferrell and, I was about to say Regina George, Rachel McAdams. And it's totally bonkers, it is a very silly film. We got about two thirds of the way um, and then we decided to put something a bit more serious on because yeah, we were starting to roll our eyes a little bit at the silliness of the film. But I think I'll probably um, leave it on while I'm in the bath or something. A little bit later, Charlie and I did a really good workout this morning. It was my first workout in three or four weeks. I think, um, yeah, at least three weeks. And then after my shower this morning, I decided to try out some of the Charlotte Tilbury makeup. I didn't put any bronzer on, so I look a little bit, um, oh. <laughs> oh my God, oh dear Lord. Um, I look a little bit in need of some color. The foundation is very high coverage. It is a little bit too light for me, as you can see. Um, but yeah, really nice, and I use the Pillow Talk 
eyeshadow palette. It's not my finest makeup look, but it was really fun to try out the new products. But um, I just wanted to end the vlog and say thank you for watching. I have just put a poll up on my Instagram stories asking for your video requests, so please go and check that out. Um, and a few of you asked where the pearl jewellery giveaway is. I'm basically waiting to hear back from Edge of Ember as to how they want to run it, so that will hopefully be on my stories tomorrow. Um, um, but the giveaway for the magic cream will be on my stories today and the email that you guys can email for the Google Drive link will be in the description box if you would like to um, have any of the clothes that I just shared. So darlings, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you've had a lovely Sunday from myself and Dexy and Dickie my two editing pals. There won't be a video tomorrow because I'm not vlogging today aside from this little clip, um, but we'll be back with another vlog on Tuesday. So darling, thanks for watching. Have a lovely evening and I'll see you in a couple of days time. Bye.